It's crazy to think how a tiny silver box sitting quietly on a desk could become the center of so much attention, but that's exactly what's happening right now with the Mac Mini. It's small, minimal, almost unassuming. But for tech lovers across the US, it's one of the most interesting products Apple makes because it's that rare combination of power, flexibility, and silence. And right now, the rumors swirling around the next generation Mac Mini powered by Apple's brand new M5 chip are setting the internet on fire. Tech insiders, leakers, analysts, even hardcore developers, everyone's talking about it. Some call it the silent revolution inside Apple's lineup. Others say it's the biggest leap in desktop computing since the M1 launch. But what's the real story? What's real? What's wishful thinking? And what could this tiny machine actually become? Sit tight, because over the next half hour, we're going deep, no fluff, no filler, into the leaks, whispers, timelines, and predictions surrounding the M5 Mac Mini and what it could mean for the future of Apple desktops. Because if even half of what's being whispered turns out true, the M5 Mac Mini might be the smartest Mac Apple has ever built. It all starts with Apple's latest silicon milestone, the M5 chip. Announced officially in mid-October 2025, the M5 isn't just another iterative update. It's the culmination of years of refinement on Apple's in-house silicon design philosophy. Built on TSMC's next-generation 3 nanometer process, this chip is a miniature powerhouse. The specs alone tell a story. A 10-core CPU, a 10-core GPU, enhanced neural engine, and memory bandwidth that now reaches around 153 gigabyte per second roughly 30% faster than the M4. But numbers don't capture the essence of what this means. The M5 isn't only about speed, it's about capability. Apple designed it with AI workloads, graphics rendering, and creative tasks in mind. That's why the new GPU cores include built-in neural accelerators capable of handling AI-driven processes in real time. And the fact that Apple's M5 chip is already powering the latest MacBook Pro and iPad Pro models gives us a clear sign. This silicon is ready for desktops. It's only a matter of time before it lands in the Mac Mini. Now, the most consistent rumor, the one that keeps showing up across reports from McRumors, Tom's guide and notebook check, is that the M5 Mac Mini is either in, late stage testing, or already queued up for a launch window between late 2025 and early 2026. Insiders familiar with Apple's manufacturing schedule say that trial production units were spotted months ago. Coded under internal model numbers J473 and J474, those identifiers are believed to correspond to Mac Mini variants running base M5 and M5 Pro chips, respectively. It's typical Apple secrecy, quiet, calculated, and perfectly timed. Because what Apple tends to do is launch its mobile machines first, the MacBooks and iPads, and then, once the hype around the chip's performance builds, bring that same power into desktop form. That's exactly what's happening now. The M5 MacBook Pro benchmarks already show record-breaking single-core scores north of 4,200 points on Geekbench 6, while multi-core scores comfortably cross 15,000. Those are laptop numbers. So imagine what those same chips could do inside a Mac Mini, where thermal constraints are looser, power draw is higher, and performance can be sustained longer without throttling. The whispers suggest that Apple is already testing at least two configurations one with the standard M5, and one with an upgraded M5 Pro. The M5 Pro, in case you're wondering, is rumored to feature up to 12 CPU cores and 14 GPU cores, pushing the performance envelope far beyond what the compact Mac Mini has ever handled. And because the M5 generation brings improvements in energy efficiency, the same unibody aluminum chassis might be able to cool those chips without requiring a redesign. That's right. Multiple leakers have stated that Apple isn't planning any major visual overhaul for this generation. It'll likely look the same on the outside, clean, square, minimalist. But inside, it'll be completely re-engineered. Faster memory modules, upgraded storage controllers, Thunderbolt 5 ports, and possibly Wi-Fi 7 support. Some even say the new Mac Mini will gain the ability to drive up to three external displays simultaneously, including one 8K monitor, something current models can't fully handle. But let's talk about why this update matters so much. The Mac Mini has always been a strange creature in Apple's lineup. Not a flashy laptop, not a massive workstation, but a bridge between the two. It's the entry-level Mac that can scale into professional territory with the right configuration. And because of that, every chip upgrade turns into a major deal for different kinds of users. Developers love it for its low cost and headless operation. 
Musicians use it in studios because it's quiet and stable. Creators use it as a rendering node, a streaming hub, even a mini server. So when a new generation of chips like the M5 comes along, faster, smarter, more efficient, the Mac Mini becomes exponentially more interesting. The desktop might look the same, but its brain becomes a new beast. If we believe the supply chain leaks, and to be fair, many of them have been accurate in past Apple cycles. Production of M5 Mac Mini logic boards began as early as August 2025. That lines up perfectly with a potential November or December reveal. However, some analysts believe Apple might hold it back until the spring 2026 event, grouping it with the next Mac Studio or Mac Pro refresh. Either timeline makes sense depending on Apple's broader marketing strategy. After all, 2025 has already been packed with releases, new MacBook Pros, updated iPads, and of course, the Vision Pro expansion. Apple might not want to overload its product calendar. But others argue that a quiet December release, the same way Apple launched the M2 Pro Mac Mini, would fit perfectly. Quiet but powerful, exactly like the machine itself. The conversation around pricing is also heating up. Current Mac Mini models start at $599 for the base configuration with the M4 chip. Analysts expect Apple to keep that same starting price for the M5 variant to stay competitive, especially since the MacBook Air and iMac occupy higher tiers. But for the M5 Pro configuration, the expected starting point could rise to around $899 or even $999, especially if Apple includes more memory and larger SSDs by default. That might sound steep, but remember, this would still make the Mac Mini one of the cheapest ways to get M5 Pro performance in any Apple device. Now let's dig into the performance expectations. If the M5 MacBook Pro already reaches 4200 points single core, then the Mac Mini should comfortably surpass 4400 or more, thanks to better cooling. GPU performance will likely see a 40 to 45% increase over the M4. That translates to smoother playback of 8K video timelines, faster code compilation, and real-time rendering capabilities that start to blur the line between consumer desktop and professional workstation. But the most exciting part, and one that might not sound flashy on paper, is the Neural Engine upgrade. The 16-core Neural Engine inside the M5 is designed to accelerate machine learning tasks by up to four times over the M4 generation. Why does that matter? Because macOS Tahoe, the next version of macOS already in developer testing, is built around AI-powered features. From system-wide writing assistance to generative graphics, real-time background isolation for video calls, and smarter automation workflows, every one of those features will run best on M5 Silicon. So yes, the leaks are real. The timeline is real. The M5 Mac Mini is coming, and while Apple may not have said the words yet, the entire ecosystem is moving in that direction. Developers compiling universal apps are already seeing M5 optimization flags in Xcode. Benchmark results from pre-release units have surfaced online under disguised identifiers. Internal configuration strings in macOS Tahoe Beta builds explicitly reference Mac Mini 17,1, a model number that doesn't exist yet. Every breadcrumb points to one conclusion. Apple's next desktop refresh is imminent.